Yeah, I think he's just voicing out all his thoughts. It's taking so long! What's up, everybody? My name is Lee Hua. Welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lee Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Sasaki Miyano. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we got channel membership, Patreon, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Sasaki and Miyano episode 6! Who's that? Oh, that was just like great, like NPCs. He's seriously thinking about your feelings. Mm, to spend time with you. He said it. He said it. Struck the heart. Oh, and that. <laughs> Mm-hmm, like this, bio anime, like this! I love how sincere his response was. Oh, so they're agreeing that it does make you feel a little embarrassed. Oh, sorry. You like him as a senpai? What about as a person? The price? Feelings! The name of the episode is Feelings! Feels on y'all. Postgraduate forms. How do you know? As a little thank you, and I'm also giving an opportunity to hang out with him in a special way. <laughs> You're exercising restraint already? Yes, explain it. Explain. I want to hear it though. I want to hear the gushing. I want to hear how excessive his affection is. Are you worried that you feel like you're leading him on with the birthday present? Don't ignore it.
My whole life is for her. That's heavy. Sounds like you want to protect her. Scarf it down. Scarf it down. Yum, 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 yum. What kind of flavor? Ooh! Fun <laughs> Maybe he'll get those for him as a present. Ready to do well, to do your test. Oh, he's been all shy about giving him candy. I hope that's a flavor he likes. Oh, it's a sweet flavor! <gasps> Today's the birthday day! Ooh, what you gonna do? Oh, the smile! The smile that says your life is for them! He can be cute and cool. Situational stuff. Mm hmm With the power of love, you're gonna ace your tests. Mm-hmm. And time is passing by. Mm-hmm. And then... That square thing looked like something. Oh, it was from the candy. It's a candy wrapper. It totally looked like something else. Please tell me I'm not the only one who thought it was that thing. You know what I'm talking about if you thought it was that thing. Flashback. I like how people talk about the seasons. That was his first image of you being cool. And then... Ooh. You are conscious of him. All these things, when, when they do this stuff, this accent, just makes me feel... Warm and fuzzy, too! It's like it's trying to immerse us within these episodes.
<laughs> you look stressed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you memorize the shelf labels? What a good boyfriend. Yeah, how particular? What's her taste? Icky man? What? Popeye? What? What? Like gravity? No, that's not the only one with pop idols. Like, that that had a mixture. He was called Ikiman. Thank his parents for making him gorgeous. That's a roundabout way of insulting him. This is a cute dynamic. We're seeing more of them together in this episode than any other episode. Is it because Saki is studying and taking tests? Mm-hmm. Romantic, not just because of your face, but more than that. Oh, speak of the devil. I bet he was restraining himself. What do you mean you don't understand him? He's pretty straightforward. Are you gonna turn around? Or are you gonna be like, Senpai! Sasaki Senpai! You touched his face with your hand. <laughs> I'm like, Hambalala, you touched him. <laughs> Share an umbrella. Because you have to be close to each other to share an umbrella. <laughs> yeah. 
Shoulder to shoulder. Touch your shoulders. That means they made up. The friend and his girlfriend made up. Yay! <gasps> that squeezing of the handbag looked like a squeeze of resolve. Mm -hmm. What? What? Yes, thank you for being straightforward about it! Mm-hmm? Uh-huh? But? What do you mean you're not too sure? And then... Oh, they're showing that scene! Okay, I think he's just voicing out all his thoughts. But it's taking so long! Get on with it! Come on! Pretty brave of you to say this on the bridge in public, though. I'm just lying. Yes, there's probably more. Yes, yes. No. <sighs> Gosh darn it, it's like you're asking for an extension to decide. Right! Uh. Yes, he's definitely giving it real consideration. Yeah, what? How do you feel about this? You're going to have to wait longer. You think there's hope, don't you? Like, we all know it's gonna happen, but still. He's like, I'm glad I like him. Oh, you're so lucky that you can read this, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Mm, I feel like this is him saying, please stay the way you are, act the way you, you normally do. And then... That ending part where he says, when I like them, I want to touch them kind of thing, made it seem like he was, you know, giving a heads up. It's like, hey, now that you know that I like you, just to let you know, I'm going to touch you more. And yeah, yeah, I'm going to touch you regardless, you know, don't feel weird about it. And yeah, just to let you know, I gave you a heads up. And right now you're kind of consenting to it. <laughs> that's that. That's the message I was getting. And I do like in this episode that they were showing the dynamic between Miano and his friends and also how Miano's friend is totally cool with BL and how, you know, he's sort of acting as a little example of what it's like for someone to be in love with someone, to have infatuation, affection and such. So Miani has like a good example right in front of him to be like, oh, because for example, when the friend said, oh, I, when I see her smile and Miano experienced the same thing. So I was like, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we have those little Sasaki scenes with him being all like, oh, his heart, it's like about to explode scene. Like when he got the lollipop. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That was a good one. And then I was a little annoyed at the end of the episode where Miana was like vocalizing his thoughts about their relationship and what he thinks about Sasaki. It was sort of like he was about to be like, I only see you as a senpai kind of thing, but it's like, we know that's not where you're leading to, but it's like, you're taking so long just to see. Please give me more time to think about it. I'm like, I feel bad for Sasaki. <laughs> but he's so, like, hopeful. He's like, yes, yes, I'll, if you need more time to think about it, if you're not rejecting me, yes, I'll give you more time. Like, thank you for thinking about me. Like, I'm so glad I like you. And kind of thing. It's like, uh, you're so hopeful. You're so lucky that you can read this situation. Like, you know, you know that it's going to be optimistic. There's going to be an optimistic ending for you. And you're just waiting it out. <laughs> Those are my thoughts. What do you guys think about this episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to Sasaki Miyano, episode 6. Hope you guys like this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Laters!